This short video is a documentary based on the paper entitled Corrosion Control, Prevention, and Maintenance in Harbor Construction, written by Ingrid M. Howard. All steel that is exposed to the elements will corrode, and except for select grades of steel, the continued corrosion will cause failure of the material. The most common form of steel corrosion is rust. Rust is the oxidation of iron in steel and it can cause the steel to deteriorate, weaken, and ultimately fail. One of the environments in which steel is the most susceptible to corrosion is in the marine or saltwater environment. Several different types of corrosion occur in steel. The most common is oxidation of the steel in the form of iron oxides or rust. Other forms of corrosion are erosion from wind and also bacterial and anaerobic corrosion that can occur in the inside of steel pipe piles. Corrosion protection of steel structures in marine environments is very important to the longevity of a structure. Several different types of corrosion protection are available to protect steel from corrosion. Three main types of corrosion protection include cathodic protection, galvanization, and other chemical coatings including epoxy and the corrosion inhibiting chemicals. Cathodic protection can be accomplished in several different ways. One way uses protective electric current, which is used to complete the circuit, which protects the steel from the electrochemical reactions that can cause corrosion. This system requires periodic inspection to determine the effectiveness of the corrosion protection. Another way that cathodic protection is used is by using sacrificial anodes. A sacrificial anode is a bar or block of material that corrodes more readily than steel. The most common materials used in sacrificial anodes are aluminum, zinc, and magnesium. The more active metals corrode more easily and thus protect the steel from corrosion. As the name implies, the anodes are sacrificed and must be replaced when roughly 80% of the material has been consumed. Sacrificial anodes are made in many different shapes and sizes. A rectangular anode is the most commonly used shape in marine structures. The sacrificial anode can be fastened directly to the steel structure that is to be protected. An impressed current system is more complicated and may be more prone to problems due to the combination of water and electricity. Galvanization is the process of coating steel, a steel member with a thin layer of zinc from, for corrosion protection. This process consists of several chemical baths into which the steel is placed in preparation for being coated in zinc. Other chemical coatings may be used instead of cathodic protection and galvanization. These chemical coatings are made of epoxy, aggregate filled epoxy, urethane, tar, and other combinations of these materials. Different coating materials are applied to different areas of exposed steel depending on the conditions. There are several zones in which the corrosion of steel occurs. The methods discussed so far pertain to the steel below the water level. However, the area of greatest risk for corrosion is from the splash zone down to the mean low water level. The Department of Defense is, one, is only one of the only agencies that specifies the procedure for underwater inspection of pilings and other steel harbor structures. This figure is one of the illustrations from the DoD Guide on Harbor Structure Maintenance. Steel structures in marine environments should be monitored and inspected regularly. In some cases, the corrosion may not be easily seen and the extent of the corrosion may not easily be determined. The Department of Defense's Unified Facilities Criteria Manual has several checklists that may be used to aid in the inspection of evaluation of steel structures exposed to weathering and deterioration by marine environments.